limit of trigonometric functions. Evaluate limit of sin x over 2x when x approaches 0 and limit of sin 3x over 2x when x approaches 0. Well, in both these examples, we are going to use the fundamental limit. And what is that? That is limit of sin x over x as x approaches 0 is how much? Is 1. So that is what will be applied here in both the examples. Well, I've already given you the hint. So you can pause the video, write down your solution, and then check with mine. Okay, three simple steps. Let's do it. So we can write this as limit of the function as x approaches 0. And we'll break this function as sin x over x. And we can take half away from it. So it's like kind of half. Do you see that? Right? Now, as you know, half will approach half only since that is a constant. So we can write this as half limit of sin x, okay, sin x over x as x approaches 0. Now the fundamental limit is that limit of sin x over x as x approaches 0 is 1. So what do we get? We get half times 1, which is half, right? So we get our first answer. That is, limit of this function or expression, you can say at present, is 1 over 2. In the similar fashion, we'll do the next. Exactly similar steps, right? So we can write this as limit x approaches 0 for sine 3x over, now we have 2x here. We don't have 3x. How to get 3x? That is a big question. In the previous question, we factored half out. Now here what we can do is, we can multiply and divide by 3. Then we'll get 3x here. Do you see that? That's the trick. So the idea is somehow to apply this fundamental limit and get the answer. That is the idea. So now we can rearrange. And what we get is sine 3x over 3x times, so we applied, we swapped 2 and 3, times 3 over 2. Do you understand? Now it's absolutely clear. The next step is 3 over 2 times limit of x approaches 0. And you can think 3x as theta, right? Then it becomes sine theta over theta. That will be 1. So we'll still write here sine of 3x over 3x. And as expected, we get the answer as 3 over 2. Since limit of sine 3x over 3x is 1, right? So we can write down our answer, which is 3 over 2. Correct? So that is how such questions will be done. 3 over 2. I hope you find it interesting and simple. Thank you.